Hey people, it's Kelly of Print Press Slay, and I am here to share the Valentine's kit that I ended up using um, with my patrons. So uh, monthly, my patron, my Patreon group gets together, and we do a Bible study based on a particular kit. Well, this month um, for February, we did um, various Valentine's slash love theme type kits, and I chose the kit loving. Uh, like the Lamb of God. And so this kit has various uh, little watercolor lambs, of course. They're really super cute. And then I talk about how to love like the Lamb. So how to love like God. And I really poured out, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five um, particular scriptures uh, that I will be studying and sharing with you today. Um, the first part about it was fussy cutting. So if you can see, I have the kit in, um, different sizes. So I decided to print, um, some of it on, uh, two pages per page. So that's two sheets per page. I, I meant to say it like that. <laughs> so, um, the images are much smaller because they're going into my, uh, journal. So my faith journal, faith, happy planner, um, has smaller space um, that I well it has a bigger space for me to write my notes, but I wanted the images to take up less space so I can write more notes. So I'm just fussy cutting, and I wanted to explain why I'm fussy cutting, and that is because I absolutely adore fussy cutting. Like I really feel like it's therapeutic. So I'm here fussy cutting the kit. Um, some of it is printed on white sticker paper. I like to well, I prefer white sticker paper in my journal. Um, versus a uh, clear sticker paper in my um, journaling Bible. Um, the reason for that, again, um, if you're new to my channel, I Bible journal and I like to be able to see the words um, behind the images. So that is the reason for the clear sticker paper. And then inside of my faith journal um, slash happy planner, I really like to layer um, at times. So that is why I use the white sticker paper. Uh, you just saw a flash of my queen Esther. <laughs> um, that's because I am in my topic study of my faith planner. And so I am continuing my topic study from queen Esther and now into how to love like God, basically. So I am online with my patrons and they are sharing with me the kits that they use. This is the kit that I chose to use. And so after fussy cutting alone, I got with them and now I am putting the kit together. So there are two sheets in the kit that have um, these pages of paper, and I decided to use them um, kind of like in a collage type of way um, and, and put them around the page to give it a little bit more um, character, like, not character, but like <laughs> um, pop of color. That's what I meant, not character, color. Um, so then I put the, the particular scriptures all around. You can see the first one I lay down is um, Song of Solomon, and that's 4 7, love yourself. And then I go into um, a really, really sweet one that says, Be kind um, within the scripture of Ephesians 4 mm -hmm. 32. And then I end up going through my study using just this half of the sheet. And so I'm sharing with them. Um, what the scripture means to me. And so for Song of Solomon, it says, you are altogether beautiful, my darling, beautiful in every way. And I was really sharing with them that that particular scripture, like Song of Solomon is like, I told them like, not that they are doing this, but there are a lot of, you know, books out there like Zane and all the authors. And I'm like, the song, the book Song of Solomon um, has a lot of descriptive language in there of this relation, this romantic relationship. And I was like, you know, read, reading the Bible, it can, you know, open up a lot of what you really, really feel <laughs> versus, um, reading some of these books that, you know, people put out there. Um, and it's this really, really vivid, um, description, um, in which communicating love and admiration and the words that are used are really, they like hit your heart. Um, I am now on the other side of the page in which I put down praying for others, which is Ephesians 6, 18 and um, love others, which is John 15, 12. And then be patient with, which is uh, Galatians 6, 9. 
And then I continue to add the strips of paper in various ripped up fashion um, and these little banners in which I do not know how, like what type of title I'm going to use on them because again, I shrunk them down. So they're like maybe an inch and a half worth of space to write versus the original size. I give you much more, um, but because I shrunk them down, I now am going to, you know, put them as like maybe titles instead of um, writing like a whole phrase on them and you'll see them later. I did joke around with my patrons about washi tape and I was like, if I don't put this washi tape on here now, it is not going to be on the page. <laughs> um, I'm struggling with using all my washi stash and I, I really want to use it because washi does cost a, a good amount of money and I really do enjoy the, the look of it. So I went in there, I have two. So I have my thank you, thank you, thank you, which is my favorite washi tape. And then I have the black and white dot one, which I believe is from Illustrated Faith. And thank you, thank you is from, um, uh, what's that? Michaels. Ooh, how did I mix that up? All right. So actually, I only put the kit together with my patrons and then I shared my study notes with them, but I did not write it until I was all by myself. And here it goes. I have my, my post-it notes from what was said um, with uh, the ladies on Patreon, because I, I, I included some of their notes on my my actual study notes when I write them down. Um, so I go out and I write out the scripture. I'd already shared Song of Solomon with you. Um, but then I go and I write, you know, some study notes um, in which I write communicating love and expressing, expressing admiration in both words and action can enhance, um, uh, my friendship and my marriage. So I shared with them, like, I really was having like this snag in my marriage in which we got really comfortable. I've been married for, whew, what is it? 13 years in which, you know, sometimes you get used to doing something. So we kind of stopped dating, but that was because of the pandemic. Um, more so than, you know, us not wanting to, but we're getting back in the swing of things on that. But we also stop saying extra little things that really do matter. So love is not only words, it's an action. So instead of like thinking, oh, my husband looks nice. I wanted to tell him more that he looks nice. I wanted to say thank you for, you know, cooking food and things of that nature. So I wrote that in my prayer to God, um, about, you know, expressing my love more, um, and sharing that, you know, saying that I love you in action. And to me, what that looks like for God is really studying his word and praying to him um, instead of just saying, I love God. Um, I said, for be kind, say it more. Like, don't just, um, oh, oh, no, sorry. Um, it says, instead, be kind. This is Ephesians 4.32. Um, to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. And then I make the note that God forgives and so shall I. Like, of course, we've all been wronged by people and we all have wronged others. Um, but forgiveness is not only for ourselves. I mean, for others, it's also for ourselves. Like that person definitely probably would like to hear that you forgive them, but you need to forgive for yourself so that you can move on. You can have peace as well. So instead be kind. So being kind is a, another form of loving like God. And the other one is praying for others. I did a whole thing in December, um, and filled my, um, prayer journal with prayers for others instead of it's usually prayers about me, my family, my loved ones, my friends and things like that. And I prayed for others and it says pray in the spirit at all times and on occasion, on every occasion, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. So pray for everybody. Um, and I wrote some notes of how to pray at all times. Um, one, making brief prayers and getting the habit of praying, um, ordering my life around God's desires and teachings and not necessarily my own so that my life becomes a prayer and ask if others are in need of prayer. So then you end up praying for others, um, love others. Um, it's a commandment, love each other. That's John 15, 12. Um, and showing that love, there is no greater love 
than laying down your life for a friend. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to die for them, but it's a sacrificial type of love, like listening and helping and encouraging each other. It takes time to be a good friend. And I wrote down like when I am trying to be a good friend, I am really actively listening to this person. I'm not just, you know, trying to pass time. Um, and then be patient is Galatians um, 6, 9. And I was just saying how God is so patient with me. Um, and I wrote down one of Nina quotes, and that is um, elevating others, even in your darkest hour is your greatest gift. And that's what Nina has said in one of um, while we were on Zoom. So I really, really enjoyed my study um, with the ladies and then again by myself. And I hope you all enjoyed uh, all the little nuggets that I have from my notes. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or any comments. I do read my comments. Please comment down below and let me know how you are doing this Valentine's Day. Um, I really, really enjoyed having you here. Hope that you like the study. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Bye.